Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about EMATs, which are electromagnetic acoustic transducers used in ultrasonic testing. Naturally, you may have the question, what is ultrasonic testing? Ultrasonic testing or non-destructive testing is a technique to study the internal structure of a material or an object by sending ultrasonic waves through that object or material. Conventionally, piezoelectric transducers are used for ultrasonic testing, which requires a coupling medium such as water or gel to transfer the sound waves into the test materials, whereas EMATs do not require any coupling medium and can directly transfer the ultrasonic waves using electromagnetic induction. Let us look at the working principle of EMATs. An AC current is passed through the EMAT coil circuit, which induces eddy currents on the surface of the material being inspected. These eddy currents interact with the static external magnetic field, generating a Lorentz force whose direction is parallel to the free surface. This Lorentz force causes motion of charged particles within the material, which collide with the crystal lattice to produce me mechanical vibrations. As a result of these vibrations, elastic waves are generated or in this case ultrasonic waves due to, due to the high frequency of the AC current. In the reverse process, elastic waves from the material interact with the external magnetic field to induce current in the EMAT coil circuit. This helps in sensing these ultrasonic waves. Components of an EMAT we have the following components, a permanent magnet to provide an external magnetic field, a current carrying coil through which an AC current is passed at the desired frequency. This fluctuating AC current will generate loops of eddy currents within the conducting sample. These eddy currents interact with the external magnetic field to produce Lorentz force. Let's look at the difference between EMATs and piezoelectric transducers. Principle of operation. Piezoelectric transducers work by converting an electrical signal into a mechanical vibration that propagates through a coupling medium and generates ultrasonic waves. EMATs, on the other hand, use electromagnetic induction to generate ultrasonic waves directly within the material being tested. Range of materials. Piezoelectric transducers can be used to test a wide range of materials, including metals, plastics, and composites. EMATs can also be used with a variety of materials, but they are particularly effective for testing materials that are electrically conductive, such as metals. Depth of penetration. EMATs can generate ultrasonic waves that penetrate deeper into the material being tested than compared to piezoelectric transducers making them better suited for detecting flaws and defects at greater depths. Signal quality. Piezoelectric transducers generally produce a stronger and cleaner signal than EMATs. EMATs tend to have a lower signal to noise ratio and a limited frequency range compared to piezoelectric transducers. Overall, EMATs and piezoelectric transducers have different strengths and weaknesses and the choice between them depends on the specific application and the material being tested. Wave modes. Unlike piezoelectric transducers, EMATs can be used to generate multiple wave modes. The polarization of the generated wave depends on the direction of Lorentz force. Hence, we can easily generate the desired wave mode simply by changing the orientation of the permanent magnet and the current carrying coil. Here we have two images. The first describes a longitudinal wave where we have compressions and rarefactions limited by the surface of the material. In the second image, we have shear waves which propagate along the surface. Let us look at a few orientations of the coil and magnet. So in the first case, we have a spiral coil where uh, ma the magnetic poles are kept vertically and due to the direction of the current carrying coils 
we have Lorentz force uh, generated in the op opposite directions parallel to the surface. Uh, in, the, in the second case, we have a rectangular coil uh, and the magnet is the magnetic poles are kept horizontal to the surface. So we can see the direction of magnetic field and the direction of current carrying coil causes the Lorentz force uh, to be like this. In the third case, we have a symmetric coil where, where uh, the magnetic poles are kept in a fashion such that the magnetic field direction is parallel to the surface. Wave modes can also be generated at an angle to the free surface. So in the first case, we have used a meander coil and a vertically placed magnet. And in the second case, we have a periodic arrangement of permanent magnets where the po polarity is uh, changing alternately and the, the coil is wrapped around the permanent magnet. So these two cases uh, cause the uh, pro direction of propagation for ultrasonic waves uh, to be at an angle to the free surface. Applications EMATs have a wide range of applications in non-destructive testing due to their ability to generate ultrasonic waves without direct contact with the test material. Here are some of the EMAT applications. Aerospace industry EMATs are used to inspect the integrity of aircraft components such as turbine blades, fuse large, and landing gears. They can detect defects such as cracks, corrosion, and material degradation without the need for disassembly or cutting. Railway industry EMATs are used to inspect the integrity of train wheels, axles, and rails. They can detect defects such as cracks, wear, and material degradation which can help prevent derailments and accidents. Automotive industry. EMATs are used to inspect the integrity of engine components such as piston rings, cylinder walls, and crankshafts. They can detect defects such as cracks, wear, and material degradation, which can help improve engine performance and, st and reliability. Power generation industry. EMATs are used to inspect the integrity of power plant components such as turbine blades, boiler tubes, and heat exchangers. They can detect defects such as corrosion, erosion, and material degradation, which can help prevent equipment failures and downtime. Civil engineering. EMATs are used to inspect the integrity of structures such as bridges, dams, and pipelines. They can detect defects such as cracks, corrosions, and material degradation, which can help prevent catastrophic failures and ensure the safety of public. Overall, EMATs are an effective tool for non-destructive testing and evaluation in a wide range of industries and applications. EMATs provide many advantages over piezoelectric transducers. No couplant is needed. Based on the transduction mechanism of EMAT, a couplant is not required. This makes EMAT ideal for inspections at temperatures below the freezing point and above the evaporation point of liquid couplants. It also makes it convenient for situations where couplant handling would be impractical. Dry inspection. Since EMAT does not require a coupling, couplant for transmitting sound, which makes it very well suited for inspection of very hot and very cold parts, and integration in automated environments. Impervious to surface conditions. EMAT can inspect through coatings and are not affected by pollutants, oxidation or roughness. Easier sensor deployment. Not having wedges or couplant, Snell's law of refraction does not apply and the angle of a sensor does not affect the direction of propagation. This makes EMAT transducers easier to control and deploy. Ability to generate shear horizontal modes. EMATS is, a, is the only practical means for generating shear waves with horizontal polarization 
without high mechanical pressure or low density couplants that impede scanning of the part. Mode selectivity. The ability to precisely select the wave mode of interest, which is, is of great importance for guided wave generation and interpretation. However, EMAT also includes some challenges and disadvantages. Low transduction efficiency. A disadvantage of EMAT is its low transduction efficiency. This is due to the trans transduction process where the input energy is lost in the form of heat. As a result, the signal to noise ratio is low. Hence, for efficient operation of EMAT, high power input and, a, and specific electronics are required to improve the signal. It is limited to metallic or magnetic products. To generate a Lorentz force, the material needs to be conducting so as to support an eddy current. For example, for example in the case of PVC pipes, EMATs cannot di directly generate ultrasound from it. However, by using a conductive tape such as aluminum foil or copper foil, an ultrasound can be generated. Here the ultrasound will be generated in the conducting foil using EMATs and it is then transferred to the PVC pipes. Nevertheless, this still makes the whole mechanism a contact process which adversely affects the speed of inspection. Size constraints. Although there are EMAT transducers as small as a penny, commonly used transducers are large in size. Low profile EMAT problems are still under research and development. Due to the size constraints, EMAT phased array is also difficult to be made from very small elements. And of course, caution must be taken when handling magnets around steel products. Conclusion The EMAT sensor can be deployed to detect corrosion and cracks. And a major application is thickness measurement of pipeline coatings. However, using EMATs is a relatively new technique and its potential is yet to be fully explored. The main issue when deploying EMATs for pipeline field inspections is the requirement for a high power input source and specific electronics to improve the signal to noise ratio. Research is underway to develop low power systems for EMATs. EMATs have been used in research for ultrasonic communication where they generate and receive an acoustic signal in a metallic structure. Ultrasonic communication is particularly useful in areas where, frequent, where radio frequency cannot be used. Thus, EMATs have a very promising future. So that was all in this presentation. Thank you.